Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Europa Universalis 4 Line of the North playing as Scandinavia, King of Poland and Lithuania. And uh, just when you thought the craziness was done, um, we're now in a war against Castile and Portugal to steal the throne of France. So the numbers don't exactly look good for me right now, admittedly. Um, this is kind of bad, but, but, I, I think we could possibly do it. It kind of depends on if England is able to get over here and do something. One thing I did not take into account was the fact that Portugal and Castile each have some colonial nations which could contribute a little bit into this. So this is kind of going to hurt. But here's realistically what we need to do. We need to rush down into France, we need to take a few defensive forts, and we need to take Paris. And then we hold that and just very carefully smash into the Castilians and the Portuguese whenever the opportunity arises. If we're careful, we can win this. My biggest threat is that I have literally no manpower to speak of. That's a problem. Now, I could sack some of my army professionalism to do this. I'd lose some siege ability if I did, though, so I'm not eager to, but we may have to do something like that. Or I'm going to need to go ahead and get myself some mercs, which isn't a bad idea. It's just going to take um, a lot of money to do so. But, you know, extra troops and stuff, a whole extra army that I could take on. I mean, I'm making money. That's not the issue. It's just a question of whether I want to take out some loans to do this, and the answer is a resounding, yeah? Yeah, kinda. Uh, I'm shocked that your generals are all awful. The Independent Army, Grand Army... Okay, the Finnish company has a decent-ish general. Who's got an outstanding, like, siege general? You? You're okay. The Gascon mu uh, Musket Company. Swiss Guard, blah blah blah. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get my, some mercs up just so I can win some fights a bit better. I'm leaning toward that. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out some loans. We're committing to this. Let's take out some loans and let's go ahead and train up some mercs. For now, we'll take the siege guy with infantry who can do a lot of the frontline fighting for me with their own separate manpower pool. Fighting these rebels over here is not exactly the best of timings, but okay. If we can win this, it's going to be insane. People are joining a coalition against me, which is a little upsetting. But, you know, whatever. Not the best of timing, but it is what it is. Yeah, a lot of people joining a coalition. Okay, we're not... We're not necessarily in the safest of positions. Uh, getting an admiral is not a bad idea, even for just a couple of extra pips here and there. Reformation of the Catholic faith for the Pope? Okay. So, England's high. Where's your navy? There they are. They're retreating. Ten heavies. France has a bunch. Portugal's gonna have... None. Castile has five. We need to be careful about this. I really need England to be able to drop off their navy, but they may or may not be able to. Um, let's send my navy over here to Norfolk for the moment. We're gonna keep an eye on this area and look for an attack of opportunity, but I really need for the English to not mess this up. In fact, it would be a lot better if you guys would stack your navy up on me, and then we can go and smash people. Because I don't have enough heavies to guarantee I can win this. It's only by our com uh, by our powers combined that we have a chance. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of military access. So, real quick, let us pull back a couple of diplomats. We'll continue improving relations with people in a minute. Muscovy, hi. I need to get a couple claims on you. Um, whatever's, like, the most expensive would be fine. Sorayazan would be great. Thank you. Bye. That's all I need right now. This is going to cost me a lot. This is going to be rough. Okay. We're fine. Um, who do I need through... Brunswick... Mainz and Luxembourg will do fine. I don't know if they're going to give it to me, though. No, they're not. Uh, who else? Thuringia? No. Wurzburg? Wood. Mainz? Wood. And then Luxembourg and team. Yeah. So, Thuringia or Brunswick, I think. Um, Brunswick, tell you what. I have loans to pay, so I can't actually take on, or I can't influence the nation. But I can give you 50 ducats to make your opinion go up a bit. Will, will that be enough to make you be, stop being a jerk? No. Alright. 
Well, I should have left my diplomat on them, apparently. Um, so no one can get to anyone right now is what I'm getting out of this. Hold up. Let's see if we can go smash some of these Castilian... Ah, there's the, there's the navy. Okay, you know what? If we can isolate some of this navy, it's worth it. He's running from me. I just need to catch any ships I can get my hands on. This will work. Okay. We get a boost for my um, navy. We are an accomplished sailor, so I move faster now. Can I catch out the French navy and destroy it? Not easily, because I mostly have galleys for shallow water. Galleys would work. Yeah, actually, they would be okay here. Never mind. Let's even go and crush some of the navies around the coast of England. I need them to do something. Gotta be careful in the North Sea. All right, there's there's France. We can we can try to smash this. There we go. So terrible start with a rolling of zero. But if we can use my galleys along the coast to start inflicting some casualties, that'd be great. There we go. There we go. Blow up a couple. Okay, we sank three of his heavies and lost one of my own. That's a fine start. Can we go and sink down seven of your trade ships? Maybe. Military access. Thank you. And then you. Let's go ahead and start marching the troops. This is going to be a very, very, very expensive and risky war. I'm, I'm just trusting it's all going to be worth it at the end of the day, but it's going to be. Not really worried. All right, England decided to jump on this preemptively. Smart, let's go ahead and crush. All right, looks like someone lost a trade ship. Hmm. So I am going to allow... Um, how can I allow allies to board? If you'd like to cross your troops over here, that wouldn't be a bad plan, just saying. More ideas? Yes. Let's get the Navy attrition reduction. Honestly, getting some of this Navy stuff would be kind of nice. And then Luxembourg military access, please. Thank you. So let's see, we've got a non-siege general who's gonna sit over, where is it safe? None of these guys have very good supply. That's a problem. You guys go here, you guys go here. And then we split some forces, and we try to play a little defensively. We want to jump on Castile's army over here. So I'm repairing my navy right now. England, I'd really like for you to just jump over here and do something. Did you lose, like, your entire navy out of curiosity? Uh, no, you got them somewhere. They're hiding. I don't know where, but they're hiding. Hi, France. How are you? I see you. I am like the Eye of Sauron. I see you. That's not a good impression. It's not a good impression at all. Um, let's try to improve a little bit with some outraged countries. Um, I've still got some extra cash. How am I doing as far as my force limits? We could afford... If I'm willing to go and spend a lot of extra money and go over my force limit, we could. For example, another 13 infantry. It would cost me a lot for the free Swiss guard. Much rather have the 16 with a better general at that point. Get some real pips, you know? Okay, state agenda, done, good, thank you. Convert some Hussites, I guess. Is that where the word hussy comes from, do you think? No. Uh, we can go and sink the Castilian Navy. They've got three heavies and 12 trade ships, but he doesn't have any galleys, and this is coast. So if I'm if I can get over here, that will cause some damage. He can't get out now. Okay, now you're in a bit of trouble. You've got a really good admiral though. Tempted to roll for another one. That's much better. Thank you. At least it gives me a slightly better fighting chance. So we're gonna do a lot of damage. I'm hoping we lost nothing. We lost one galley and destroyed three ships. It's not much, but it's what I've got. So it's what I'll do. Um, I really need to blow open some forts and take less attrition. Let's just get some freaking ground. There we go. National tax modifier or money? Mm. I mean, an extra 50% national tax for a year would get me a little cash, but I'm pretty sure this is better, so we'll just do that. Okay. Um, I could benefit from reducing some inflation. Let's do that, by the way. Saves a little money. 
So, can we jump on this now? No, we need to get this fort down too. Okay. Um, you have no cannons. I can take my cannons and go assist you here. That helps. Okay, he's running away. Which is good. And a religious turmoil. Loan offer from Tuscany. No, thank you. You know what I could use, though? Manpower. Hey, question. Do I have any allies I could ask manpower for? Um, we're at war, so the answer to that is no. Oh, Bohemia, why did you have to why did you have to betray my trust? I thought we were still buds. I thought we were still thick as thieves. Literal thieves, even. Okay, so they're all hanging out with 60,000 troops. He's ready to jump on a big fight. And that's where I want to take a fort and then back off. Or fight him in good terrain. Like there? No. We have to fight here? Okay, that is woods. Um... Yeah, we can try to jump on this. I mean, I hate that it's defensive terrain, but if he's gonna be moving his army over this way, this is an opportunity to smash it. So let's do that. A little extra Diplo power is fine. Max out relations with Brunswick. Crushed that. Then we are going to... Take all of you and move you off this way. And we have to go for this fort next. I just wish that I had a lot more supply. That's what I wish. If we had a lot more supply, this would be feeling pretty good. I am going to slack in some standards. Uh, at this point, we're losing that siege ability, and I know it, but I'd rather just have some manpower to keep myself alive. I'm going to blow open a fort again just to speed this along, because the faster we can move, the better. Question of rights. I'm, I'm not interested in my claim on Lubeck. I really want to go kill Castile. But for now, I'm okay with this. As long as we get the fort, we can start making our push toward Paris. Or better yet, I can't go here. Okay, we do not want to run in here then. Until I get the zone of control figured out. Come on. Oh, whoop, no, Brandenburg. Oh, God. We're stuck, though. I can't do much. You just killed yourself, Brandenburg. Well done. You played yourself. He just stack wiped. All right, brilliant. There goes Lorraine. So I can fight in the farmlands and pick off part of his army in the forests. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Never mind, I'm less okay with this. Can I hold this long enough for reinforcements? I don't... Yes, I can. Okay. Then we are going to take this army and make a beeline for Paris. And then you are all going to... Okay, we cannot fight Castile. He got away. But I am going to grab a couple of provinces along here. Let's make a beeline for there. So Paris is the ticking war goal. Get that, and we'll start getting progress. Um, So what I could do, and it's a bit controversial, in order to save on manpower, I could join up some of my forces here. That is to say, I could consolidate some regiments. And then just buy some more mercs to supplement. At the same time, I see a stack of Castilians that I would like to go kill. So I'm going to get my army together and we're going to go jump on this in uh, non-defensive terrain. Crush this. There we go. Then we're going to take the cannons and send them down to Paris. The rest of you are going to sit over here. You're going to go get Calais back. Navy-wise, how are we looking? He's got a lot of ships hanging out over here. And England is doing absolutely nothing. Hey, England, I've given you options to, like, board my transports. Um, if you'd like to do that, that would be wise. Just gonna say it, it would not be a bad plan. Once again, I'll waste a bit. Uh, what? Okay, hello. Uh, England did engage over here to distract part of the Navy. So now we can sink a bunch of French ships. That works. We captured a ship and sunk f six more. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got Paris. All right, so we're up to 19% war score now. I need 60. Pretty sure. 60 is what I'm shooting for in this. If we go to Castile, let's take a look. Union with France, 60. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if we're careful, we're fine. 
if we are careful. Where else do you have forts I would like to take? There's one right there in Chartois. Chartois? Chartier? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Um, let's keep these guys nearby. Let's say in Paris. I just want them to stick around in case we get attacked. They're going to make beelines for Paris, and unfortunately Paris is not defensive terrain, so I can't do a lot with that. Um... Oh, I forgot. Moskva, hi. We wanted to culture convert you. 156 power? Ouch. So I think it's going to be worth it. Wish I could hire a mercenary navy. That'd be nice. Hey, so Castile is currently on their own without the French. They're repairing, so let's go crush this. There we go. Sank five more and stole a ship. Let's go knock Portugal out of this. You know, Navy-wise, we're doing surprisingly okay. Like, I'm shocked, but we are actually doing kind of okay. I probably shouldn't be, but we are. Hi, um, I got a problem with what I'm seeing with you. We're gonna abandon the fight of Calais. It's taking too long, it's a big fort. Let's go and start clearing out some of these guys in defensive forts. So France is gonna die. Marital Bliss? Production efficiency guy that's cheaper? Sure, why not? Now we can smash Portugal. Stack wipe. Now we can go smash France. You guys go over here. We can get some blockades going. Losing a lot of manpower, but we're causing some serious casualties. That's a stack wipe. That's huge. Uh, which of you guys had some siege ability? Not you. You. Go here. Just so we can take another fort. Get that going. Hopefully these guys... Ooh. Need these guys to travel as a pack. What? Okay, I was going to say, what happened to our general? There it is. Go crush this. That's another stack wipe. Huge! Okay, the numbers are now officially on our side. And my navy is proving to be shockingly effective. Let's go sink some more ships. Never mind, he ran away. Fine. I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna help blow this open. Okay, so he's now marching around over there. He wants to go for Paris and stuff again, but he's got a fort in his way. Tech-wise, still could go ahead of time on some tech. Not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, Schleswig Holstein, we should go ahead and turn this into a state. And I will go for the local trade power in Lübeck. Why not? All right, so my manpower once again completely gone, and that is a big threat. That's one more reason to actually just continue blowing this stuff open to speed up the forts, because it really is a matter of speed against attrition. I know, some people are screaming at me, don't do it, but, like, I'm gonna do it. I'll heckin' do it again. Can we get a really good thing here that would help me? Mercenary discipline, actually useful right now. It never is, but now it is, so there you go. Smash a Portuguese cannon. Get you guys together. Let's go and smash these guys in farmlands. Hey, uh, I would like your help, Brandenburg. Yes, thank you. Hop in here. England's done absolutely nothing, by the way. That's not a stack wipe, but we just caused a lot of casualties. What else we got here? Um, okay, I'm a little bit worried about splitting my forces up too much. But we're going to try to go for some stuff there. Could go for Calais. Hey, England, would you like to siege back your own forts? Can I trust you with that? Oh, England actually went for a naval battle. Nice. Um, so now we can start doing some blockading and stuff, am I right? Hi, I see a bunch of your forces. They're cute. We'll split the navy and start inflicting a bunch of casualties. Or rather, sorry, we'll start raiding the coastline, stealing a lot of money, and most importantly, giving a bit of war exhaustion. But what I really want to do is get war exhaustion on Castile. Where are you going? The western approaches? Oh wait, there's your... navy. No troops on it, but we could chase it down and go kill it. Where are you going? Oh, there's the French navy. Alright, never mind. Let's just start giving some war exhaustion to Castile. Brandenburg is fighting France on their own. Brave boy. 
Very brief. Anything else I want? I mean, really manpower, but like, mm. Many factories? Holy crap, yes, sorry, we should do that. There's a couple of really good ones we can get ourselves. Complaints about an official. We'll lose some stability, I don't mind. I'm oh, sorry, not stability, legitimacy, I don't mind. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start sieging down another fort and losing more manpower. Okay, Brandenburg's going for it, look at him go! Hey, early Prussia, man. England is still useless as frick. But you know what? It was enough to distract some people, so... There's that. So Castile is at medium war enthusiasm. They are losing some money right now. Their ports are being blockaded and it's hurting. France is losing a lot of money right now. This is good. Numbers are starting to even out a little bit. They're training more infantry, but they're not really training many more cannons. So I've still got the momentum on my side. I'm not gonna blow up another fort right now because I don't think I need to, yet. I would, however, love nothing better than to siege down something in Castile. There's a fort here in Labourd. We'll have to go take that. Okay. Uh, I would like. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I would like to go ahead and finish out my quality ideas because the extra artillery combat ability and discipline actually would give me a pretty nice boost in combat here. So Brandenburg, if you want to just go around and carpet siege, or you want to just go kill a bunch of French, you know that's fine. Hey, where's Poland in team, by the way? I didn't even look. I've been doing almost all of this on my own. Poland is hanging out. Did they run up over here and I missed it? Is that what happened? I'd like to give you the benefit of the doubt and think that happened. Your liberty desire is fine. Tell you what. I'm gonna tell you guys to all be on um, aggressive or siege mode. Go and siege down anything. We're already blockading this area. Hopefully we'll be okay, as long as Castile doesn't bring a bunch of troops. Castile might have a lot of forces in the New World right now. It really wouldn't surprise me. This is one of the great things about fighting colonial powers, you know? Sometimes their armies, while huge, are nowhere to be found, and you're fine. Royal marriage with England has ended. You know how amazing it would be if I got a uh, personal union over England as well? You have an heir, right? You don't have an heir. I've got favors! <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I could ask to put my heir on the throne? Wait a minute! Can I steal England too? Hold on! <laughs> Hang on! Alright, first things first. Policies. Infantry combat ability. Yas! Income from vassals. Yas! All of this is good! Oh for my gut! This is the most powerful game I think I've ever played! Let's go kill Navara. Screw it, we got mercs on the front line. Die! 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 Took some losses, overall not that bad. Siege down this fort, please. The Sack of Lyon. Uh, army professionalism lose money. Honestly? I'd rather have some army professionalism because what I'm gonna do immediately after that is sack it to get some manpower. Thank you. Keep myself up and running. All right. So, at this point, we're sitting at 48% war score. If I can take anything else from Castile, we can start really hurting them. If I can make my way to Toledo, we've got them down. Uh, didn't I already get a production efficiency guy? I'll just take the admin power, thank you. Pretty sure I did. So, I've got a lot of admin power that I'm doing nothing with. I'm just gonna dev up a few random things. Die, French, die. So kill them there. This fort is taking a very long time. I don't have any cannons over here. Right, that is a thing. Let's blow this open, make this faster. There goes the French, they are dead. Poland has arrived to unsiege Calais. We're at 50% war score. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, this is ludicrous. Don't get in there. Don't get an air, England, just in case, just in case, you know? Maybe, just maybe, I wanna like claim your throne. There's Navarra, we're at 53%. Hi, Portugal. I could fight you in the grasslands. You're dead, and, he, and France is waiting to die as well. Nah, we're gonna, can't get to Toledo. Can't get to Toledo easily. Can, do you have any coastal forts? No, okay. Um, Burgos will have to do then. Hey, I'm gonna transfer all of my cannons over to you, and then we're gonna send infantry to go and support down here in case we have fights. Because Castile is currently trying to train up some troops. 
I have wasted a lot of military power, I know it, but I don't care. It is so worth this if we can pull this off with no manpower. How far am I in the hole, by the way? Only 10,000. It's not as bad as it really could have been. Nowhere near as bad as it could have been. Brandenburg's going for a fort down here. People are leaving coalitions. They see the writing on the wall. They realize I'm about to become the uh, undisputed ruler of all of Europe. That's a fort down. Thank you. Uh, I really don't care about much else. Let's send these guys out over here. We can uh, definitely start forcing co some Castilian and French ships out to die. That'd be hilarious. I have 60% war score, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's it. Hi, Toledo! I'm gonna take it, capital. I'm gonna take that capital. Where's it? He's got a level 3 4. Blow it open! Okay, we got a really good chance of taking his capital. I could end the war, like, now. And there's something to be said about doing that. At the same time, it'd be really fun to be able to take a lot of money from Castile. And stuff. Oh my god, this is gonna work. <laughs> It shouldn't, but it's so gonna work. This is just, this is, this is just ludicrous. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. As long as nothing really dumb happens, we'll be fine. Pop in over here, let's make sure we have the infantry and stuff. Thank you, by the way, mercenaries, you've been incredibly helpful. Call for peace, the war's gone on that long, huh? Oh, we finally finished with a colony, huh? Hmm, what do you know? That's crazy. Come on, just take Toledo, man. Oh, I'm capped out on Diplo power. Mm, okay. Um, I could do some development here. Not much, though. Forget that. Uh, let's just get some random dev in Finnish provinces. That'll be fine, I guess. Sure, why not? Poland, why are you holding on to the occup- No, England, I'm sorry. England's holding on to occupations. England hasn't done crap! What are you even demanding here, exactly? Petition for redress. Uh, we'll deal with peasants in a minute. Increased influence of the Protestant faith. Oh, you're telling me that we're getting stronger. Protestantism's doing well. That's good. All right, so we can go for a tier five administrative thing. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a free reform here later. Not maybe a free one, but we will have to change this. But for now, do we want better nobles and cheaper leaders? Do we want cheaper advisors, better burgers? Do we want better clergy, more free admin policies or dynastic administration? We gain nearly corruption and monarch administrative skill and all estates become easier to deal with for the age of absolutism. You know what? I never do this one, but let's do it for fun. I don't know if that's the right choice. I pretty much never do that, but there you go. All right, Spain. Um, would you like to be done with this? Are you feeling tired yet? Do you feel like maybe this was stupid and you should not have demanded France? Actually, I demanded France. They inherited it perfectly legitimately. I st I'm stealing it. That's all that's happening. I'm gonna give you a bit of extra war exhaustion because I can. A thousand ducats lost to gain innovativeness. Screw it, I'm feeling really rich. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm taking out loans. Who cares? I'll take a bunch from Spain. They got gold fleets and stuff, right? They can afford it. We're gonna have to reorganize a lot of our army in a minute. Muscovite separatists? That's fine. Can we please take this one last fort? It's just a little bit of extra war score. I'd love to have it. Yes, yes, I understand. There's a lot of people. Lose the stability because the nobles are scared. Why? Everything's looking great right now. What are you talking about? Let's get a national unrest guy. Come on, take the fort. Come on, just take the... <clears throat> All right, I'm sending the armies back home. We're at 81% war score. And we're gonna be able to piece out Poland. Oh, sorry, Portugal. Portugal, by any chance. Are you tired of this? No. We'd have to go take like your capital or something. I'm not gonna do that. For God's sake, just take the fort. I know we have a call for peace. I'm aware, thank you. I know my war exhaustion's going up, but guess what? I have optimism because I'm innovative and it's pretty good at helping to counteract some of that. Oh good, the Portuguese are being attacked. There's Leon, all right, that's good enough, right? So, Castile, you are gonna give me the union with France. 
And while we're at it, I could take an island or two for fun. I can has. Just to get access to Africa. I think there's a mission for that at some point. And then some money. Oh my god, you have 15, 000, uh, 1,500 ducats. War reps would be worth a lot, though. And then we can get all the way up to 95% war score. 1,000 ducats for me. Guys, this war almost paid for itself. Not quite, but almost. And the coalition is... <laughs> it's nothing! Wow! All right, France. Hi, welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome to the family. Hey, England, I would like, um, I would like to, um, I would like to, um, put my heir on your throne. We have a Vasa, Christian Vasa. So you're telling me that now I can go for a personal union against England someday? And this is now my empire, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> God, this might be the uh, most ludicrous uh, game of EU4 I have played in a very, very, very long time. But God, am I having fun! All right, let's send the troops back home. Now we can start getting manpower back, but it's still not even all that bad considering. That's just crazy to me, dude. All right, we got rebels to deal with and other stuff. Um, where are the mercs? Hi, I don't need you anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and disband you. And then we got rebels who are actually being killed right now by my subjects. Oh my god. Hey, Scotland, you are allied to Picardy. Oh, that's really cute, bud. No, like, really? That is actually very, very cute. I'm gonna get some claims on, like, Sutherland. And can I get a claim up over here or something? You went for a, cl uh, something up there. That's fun. Cape Ray. That'll work. And... We'll get this one, too. Why not? Or Placenta. No, Placentia. Good enough. So I'm going to go to war against Scotland and take their colonial holdings so I can get a colonial nation going. Just because then I can just fund the crud out of it and it'll start developing on its own even if I don't take any ideas. And uh, now I need to figure out, one, well, one, we need to go kill Muscovy again. And two, I need to think about how I'm going to fight against uh, England at some point in the near future because... Um, we're going to be able to claim their uh, dynasty uh, as soon as Christian Vasa takes the throne. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button. Like, seriously, I've earned it. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.